The work is generally all done for this lighting duo from North Platte. These days, they just swap out bulbs or sections of lights that need replaced. It was my idea. We were just kind of sitting in my house one day, and uh, I was like, wow, I'm kind of bored. We have three weeks off before we started basketball. So uh, we called up my grandpa and talked to him and got his old light set up from him. Right, we're good. Pop it. They quickly were not bored after starting the project. They went through a good amount of trial and error over about a three-week period to complete the display. Everybody was like, oh, we're so excited to come by and see it. And I kind of felt like, I just hope it all plugs in and like, you know, like the Griswolds, like when you plug the lights together, is it really going to turn on and work and so forth. It was a lot of lights, crazy amount of lights that we were stringing together and uh, constantly plugging and unplugging. We were blowing fuses and breakers and <laughs> trying to figure out what worked. And It was like putting the trees together and uh, wrapping the arches and the roof took us a whole day. They ran into some challenges on the way. A lot of blown fuses here. Um, you know, they, they need an additional extension cord or they need another light bulb or whatever. So there was lots of trips to the, to the hardware store to, to, you know, get more supplies or get one last thing and, um, you know, many one last trips. Well, it was like really nervous when we were nearing the end because we hadn't been able to plug it in. You can't run it until you have the computer set up. So seeing it run was a relief because we didn't know if all this time we had put in was going to pay off, but it definitely did, and we were extremely happy to see it run it. No shuffle. They now can mostly just sit back and adjust the music playlist as needed for those passing by. And that computer tells it all what to do and uh, just when to light up and when not to, when to dim and when to shake. It's all just sequence patterns, and they just come in and out as it tells it to. They use a small radio transmitter to send out the signal. When you get there, just turn your radio to 88.9 to listen. They also have a donation box out, and all the money they receive, they're giving back to the local elementary backpack program, which provides food items to those in need on the weekends. But it's running all the time for people to come see, and even if you don't have to donate, you just come watch it. We enjoy that too, so. And what was the most rewarding part of this project? Uh, seeing it all done. It's nice because every time I come here, it looks really nice. And the snow helps cover all the wires and the, the boxes. and The fun we had doing it. We were able to call Grandpa up when we needed help, but uh, we just got it done, and that was the most important thing. We just wanted to see it work and uh, definitely see it benefit our local, like, backpack programs and stuff, that's really cool. Brian Ganuzzi, NTV News, North Platte.